Hello, today I want to talk about simplifying square roots. Let's say you have a problem like 2 root 2 times 3 root 3. It's not just two radicals being multiplied together. You now have two coefficients. You have the 2 on the 2 root 3, and you have the 3 on the 3 root 3. So in this case, in problems like these, like I'll show you in the next slides to come, you multiply the coefficients together first. So it would be 2 times 3, which is 6. And then you multiply together your radicals, right? Your square roots. So it will be root 2 times root 3. And that would just also be 6. So the answer here would just be 6 root 6. Let's do some more problems. So in this problem, I have 4 root 3 times 3 root 6. Again, I have a coefficient, the 4 on my root 3, and I have a coefficient 3 on my root 6. So first, I have to multiply together the coefficients. So 4 times 3 is 12. Now, I look at my square roots. I have a root 3 here, square root of 3, and a square root of 6. So now I multiply those two together, and I get the square root of 18. Are we done here yet? Can we break 18 down? Yes, we can, right? If we have 18, we can break that down into 9 times 2. And if you notice, 9 is a perfect square. All right, so let's rewrite this as 12 root 9 times 2. And like we said, 9 is a perfect square. So this can be and then be rewritten as 12 times 3 root 2, which is just going to be equal to 36 root 2. Let's do another problem. So now we have 2 root 3 times 2 root 5. So pause, take a break, see if you can figure this one out. Awesome, and if you guessed it, we're going to multiply our coefficients together first, right? So we're going to multiply the 2 and the 2 together. So 2 and 2 is 4. And then we're going to multiply our radicals are root 3 and root 5. So that will give us the square root of 15. And we can't break 15 down any further, right? It will just break down into 5 and 3. So this would be the answer. Let's do another problem. Awesome, so we have seven root two times two root seven. So the first thing I do is, I thought I heard it somewhere back there. Yes, I multiply the coefficients. So seven and two, that gives me 14. And then I multiply together the radicals, the root 2 and the root 7, and that also gives me 14. And that's the answer, because 14 only breaks down into 7 and 2.
So in this example, we have 4 root 11 times 6 root 3. First thing I want to do is multiply my coefficients, 4 and 6. It gives me a total of 24. Now I multiply together my radicals, root 11, square root 3. That gives me 33. So this will be my answer, 24 root 33. Let's do another one. Awesome, so now I have 12 square root 3 times 2 square root 3. So the first thing I want to do is multiply my coefficients. So I want to multiply the 12 and the 2. So 12 and 2 is 24. And now I want to multiply together my square root. So the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. And this gives me the square root of 9. Question, am I done yet? No, I'm not done because the square root of 9 right, is a perfect square. So this is going to factor out perfectly. So I would end up with 24 times 3, which gives me 72.